What's up fam? Welcome to I Speak Organized. Today's video is a continuation of my organized home tour series where you get to tour a professional organizer's home and see how we set up systems and what products we like to use and why. So today's stop is gonna be this room right here. This is my home office. So if you've ever found yourself wondering how does a professional organizer organize their home office, well then you have come to the right place and you don't have to wonder anymore because I'm gonna give you an in-depth exploration of this space. And I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of realism because I am a real person working with real clients and I don't like finicky, fiddly organizing systems. I like to keep it pretty simple and practical so that it is applicable to anybody. So whether you are coming here as an organizing enthusiast, looking for some ways to level up your home office, you want to banish that chaos and stacks of paper that live on your desk, or if you're a professional looking to get a few extra tips on how to organize a home office effectively, then I encourage you to stick around and let's get into it. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Melanie Summers, professional organizer, decluttering expert, and ADHD organizing specialist. I like to speak organized to give you the tools to conquer your clutter, live life with more purpose, and learn all about the business of tidying. Do me a favor, if you have not subscribed to this channel already, pull out your device and tap that subscribe button so that you become an official member of the speaker fam. I would be so honored to have you on board. Don't forget to like this video as you get value out of it and tap that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post new content every single week. So we're gonna get ready to dive into my color-coded wonderland of productivity packed shelves and order in this space that would make even Marie condo proud. <laughs> I can't even say all that with a straight face. Anywho, I'm going to give you a lay of the land here at I Speak Organized because many of you come to binge this channel for my advice on how to start a professional organizing business. These home organizer tours are a great tool for you to learn how to set up a space in a pretty easy and effective way and I have a ton of other content on this channel to help you with the business back end of starting your business. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you who are ready to get strategic and start or level up your dream of becoming a professional organizer. It is a great career to enter into where you get to make potentially six figures and beyond doing what you love on your own terms and helping out the people in your community that need it most inside their homes. I don't know what sounds better than that, so I encourage you to look at all of the resources I have available, book a coaching call with me. My calendar fills up super quickly and my August calendar is almost completely full. So go ahead and snap a spot on there. Check out the resources I have available down in the description for you to help you level up your game and get ready to run an amazing business. And don't forget to stick around until the very end because I've got a special offer for you and I'm going to reveal my super secret weapon to becoming more productive. So you're not going to want to miss that. Okay fam, I'm going to start you guys out at the command center area of my office because this area is the reason why my desk isn't full of crap, why it's not cluttered. So every office that I set up for clients, I like to set up a command center similar to the family command center that you would see down in a kitchen or in an entryway. This is sort of like the office version of that. So it's where I keep all of my most used supplies and things that I reach for. I usually will take them from the command center and bring them over to my desk area where I do most of my work and my filming and all that nonsense. So let's start out here. All right, so we're gonna start over here with this paper file organizer. This is where I keep all of my in-process paperwork. So I have an archival file system that I'll show you in a minute that lives down in the cabinets here, but I have two of these units that sit on top of this command center area, and this is where I will go and grab things that I'm currently working on. This unit is from Ikea, and the trays all pull out completely, so I can actually just take this over to my desk 
and work on one paper category at a time, which I really like. So there's space to put labels on here. These labels are actually left over from a presentation that I did a couple of months ago. So they're not necessarily representative of what I use them for, but you kind of get the idea. And you can snag these guys on the IKEA website or on Amazon, but they have the better pricing at IKEA. So just bear that in mind. Got two of those guys here, and it creates a nice visual look as well. And then on top is kind of where I just keep general office-y, knick-knacky type of supplies. Again, these are things that a lot of people normally keep on their desk, but I opt to keep them over here and just kind of grab what I need when I need it. I keep thank you cards up here that I send to clients because I like to give them handwritten notes and things like that. I've got a whole bunch of backup post-it notes down here and staples and a bunch of other random stuff. Same thing over here. I'm actually kind of going through and cleaning this part out um, and switching in a few new things. So not really a ton to see there, but just some different organizing options that you have available. I believe I got this one at Michael's Craft Store many, many years ago. You can get similar ones. It's just cardboard. Um, they have a lot of these at Target and then this acrylic one I got on Amazon So I'll link that as well and then in the drawers There's really not a ton to see this is my picture hanging supplies. I've totally been looking for these everywhere. I think my husband may have put them in the drawer, so <laughs> that's kind of funny. Anyway, um, this is the drawer where I stash all of my business receipts. I keep them in a little receipt accordion file folder here. So that is just my easy go-to place to stash those. And then I also have some journals where I can free write and brain dump. I keep that easily accessible in there. And the other drawers are just kind of for office supplies. And it doesn't necessarily matter what you keep in there, it's more how you're organizing them that I wanna point out. And so I use these acrylic drawer inserts. They are so fantastic for organizing even the junkiest of junk drawers, especially all those little tiny supplies that tend to kind of float around inside of a drawer. Having the drawer inserts makes such a difference. So this is just kind of to give you a visual of what that looks like. Same thing over here. I keep all of my Cricut machine materials, like all the extra stuff in here, and pencils, letter openers, uh, little thumbtacks, so on and so forth. Nothing too crazy in there. Those of you that have been around for a while may be wondering how I keep this channel up and running and it's not just my witty banter or my perfectly timed camera angles. It's also your amazing support. So if you are tired of those coins jingling around in your pockets causing metallic madness then fear not because I am here to help you tame that madness by encouraging you to donate to I Speak Organized. Now you may be wondering why should I donate to this fabulous channel? Each video that I make, even if it's only 10 minutes long, takes six to eight hours between the outlining, the filming, the editing, the optimizing, getting it all ready and packaged up for you guys. It is a huge labor of love. And I get messages every single day from so many of you, very supportive, and let me know that this channel has provided you with a lot of the support and the encouragement and the information that you need that you're not getting anywhere else to help you start that business. And I give it away all for free. I would be so honored if you considered making the smallest contribution, even $5 makes a huge difference for my ability to keep this channel up and running with the best quality content that I can provide. All that information is gonna be down in the description of the video and the pinned comment. And I appreciate your support so, so much. It means the absolute world. So down below here, I have a set of stacking acrylic drawers. These are Bino, and they're kind of like a more budget-friendly and more readily available alternative to the iDesign stacking drawers that you can get from Walmart. And these are pretty much always in stock on Amazon, and they kind of provide the same function. They're stackable 
like I said. And this is kind of where I like to keep sort of my promotional materials and backstock materials. I have my museum gel in here. There we go. Okay, so this stuff is amazing if you've never used it before. So it's kind of like clear poster tack, like if you ever used the blue tack for putting up posters and things in your wall or if your teacher ever used those, this is kind of like the clear version of that. This is what it looks like. What I would use this for is to put it inside of a drawer if I don't want things to be sliding around. So I'll just take a little dot and stick it where I want the item to stay put and just kind of slide it on like that. And then it just keeps that from moving around. See how this other guy over here is just like having a party, He's sliding around woo, all over the place, whereas the other one isn't moving. So it definitely is a great way to set up your system once you know how you want your Tetris to be arranged, and then you can use the museum gel to keep everything in place. Okay, back down here to the rest of this. I've just keep, you know, some other visual aids, promotional materials. Um, and things like that that I use on presentations or kind of whatever I need a visual reminder of since these are see-through They're kind of like my rotating drawers to keep things that I need to remember more easily and then I have a pink flamingo stapler because you know who doesn't need one of those down here is where I keep special printing materials so I make a lot of visuals for my clients. So I create calendars and printable routines and checklists and things. So I have thermal laminating pouches down here. So I like to laminate a lot of stuff so that it is reusable for clients. And then I have special um, paper that I have available. I also have extra like graph paper down here that I use for doing space mapping when I'm on site with clients, stuff like that. I have everything organized down here with a little divider that keeps things vertical so I'm able to store them and access everything super easily just by sliding it out with one hand. All right, fam, I told you that I was going to reveal my super secret weapon to being more productive and it comes in this box. I just got my newest shipment of Magic Mind. If you don't know what that is, and you haven't watched my videos before, it is a productivity energy shot. So it's got adaptogens and nootropics in it. It's got a little bit of agave syrup for sweetener, which makes it vegan friendly. There's no honey in here. And there's a tiny bit of caffeine from matcha tea in here. So it's a nice bright green. It's two ounces and it keeps you going pretty much all day. It's also a great sort of mid-afternoon pick-me-up if you're the energy drink or the soda type of person where you reach for that Dr. Pepper, that Diet Coke, or that energy drink, whatever it happens to be. This is a great healthier alternative that has ingredients that are actually good for boosting your brain function long term. So it actually enhances the effects of the caffeine without all the nasty side effects. And I actually really don't drink caffeine much at all. This is the most I drink every once in a while. For the most part, I am 100% caffeine free. So all you have to do is give this a little shake. I like to drink them straight from the fridge. You can drink them room temperature or you can make lattes with them. They're super tasty. Mm. And I honestly feel like every batch I get tastes better and better and it doesn't have that grainy chalky texture. As long as you shake it up really, really well, I'm able to maintain a steady, calm, awake feeling that allows me to focus. So that's it fam, that's my super secret weapon to being more productive. Truly, it's one of the best products that I have ever tried and I wanna give a super shout out to Magic Mind for being today's video sponsor and give you guys a special gift if you wanna try it for yourselves. I got a discount code for you. You're gonna get 20% off at the link down in the description using the code ORGANIZED20. So I encourage you, if you wanna get off that energy drink train to click that link down below give it a try and tell them that Melanie sent you. And inside the cabinets, I've got a couple of baskets. This one stores my favorite clear mesh pouches that I use for temporary storage when I go on jobs with clients. Um, I like to use them in place of Ziplocs sometimes 
to store small categories of items. They're great for organizing papers and small toys in playrooms. They kind of use them for a lot of different things. So I have a whole bunch on hand and they're great for color coding as well. So um, a lot of my ADHD clients benefit from color coded systems. So I like to have them in different colors for that purpose when we start an organizing system. So I've got a bunch of those on hand. Down here, I have all of my archival file stuff. So a lot of this stuff on this side is actually personal files and tax information. And then I have these pink folders here that I use for different projects and presentations. This is kind of my alternative to using three ring binders for things. These guys take up a lot less space. And then on this side is where I keep most of my business archival file stuff. So general business and tax and financial, this is all specifically for business. Um, and then this is kind of just like extra storage up here, not for anything in particular. I've got some extra bins up here, some label tape, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, moving on to my craft cart. This is where I keep my Cricut machine. I primarily use this machine to make custom vinyl labels for my clients. I do occasionally use it for other crafting things. I have a heat press down there and I have a few other tools that I like to use if I'm making cards or kind of just feeling in the crafty spirit. Um, but for the most part, I use this for my client needs. So it's a pretty minimal craft setup here. I have another one of these paper file management systems set up here, and this is kind of where I keep some of my extra craft paper and supplies. I have like my heat press pad down here um, and some other things that kind of come with the Cricut when you buy it, you get a whole bunch of stuff that comes along with it. I'm testing out designs on different materials, so I kind of keep that stuff down here. Same thing, t-shirts, I'm looking at getting some uniforms made. So I am testing out different shades and materials there. Um, this is where I store all of my Cricut vinyl. So these drawers are kind of like the perfect size for that. So anybody that is interested in making custom vinyls, especially for clients or what have you, this is a really, really great cart to use for that. And I got it on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. And I'm not sure you can see, I'll see if I can pull it out. So you are able to wheel this guy out and it actually has a leaf that comes up and extends for a little bit of extra project space. So if you have a really small designated craft area, this cart is an amazing option. Checking out my desk. So. Again, it's a very minimal desk. I do have a PC, so we have an extra monitor that sits here next to my laptop in case I need to do any larger design projects or if I'm working on multiple things at once, it's nice to have that extra monitor. This desk is really long, which is super nice because I'm able to have a lot of surface area to spread out and do what I need to do. It also has a little pouch that hangs off the side. This actually came with the desk. This desk is from Amazon of all places and it looks like marble, but it's actually a wood top. So it's pretty lightweight. It's got a bunch of different pockets on the sides as well to keep other electronics. Maybe you have your iPad with you or calculator. I don't know, could be a good desk for students as well. Um, to kind of spread out and have different zones here. I've got my little cord keeper down here. So this is a box that you can pick up pretty much anywhere. I worked with a brand called Blue Key World a year or so ago, and they sent us a few different cord management boxes. So this is what this looks like on the inside. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at the container store. You can get them at Target, pretty much wherever. Um, this one has several different little spots for cords to pull through and then it kind of just keeps 
the visual clutter at bay once you put the top back on. The other thing that I did was to use um, a cord, I don't even know what you would call this, but I guess it's just like cord hiding tape or something. This, this is adhesive and it actually sticks to the carpet really, really well and I'm able to run all of the cords from the back of the computer down underneath that so it doesn't cause a tripping hazard and it works well. And then this is like the cart where I keep all of my office uh, like tech supplies. So this cart, I'll come around this side, is where I keep all of my YouTube equipment because I do all of my filming in here for my podcast. That's all my camera gear. This is one of those bins from Ikea. There's a smaller one down there where I keep printer supplies. And then this is usually where <laughs> the shelf here is where I keep my tripod and some of my other stuff that I'm currently holding. And right now my daughter's got her chair in here and she's using it as a tiny desk space. So that's pretty cute. I'll come over here and show you guys this door hanging unit. So this is just extra storage. Pretty much every room that I have, I like to add a little bit of extra vertical storage component to it. And there's really not a ton of stuff in here, but we do have a bunch of random odds and ends that clutter up our space. And so because this room is really only used for the adults, I have this stashed on the back of the door so that my husband and I can put all that random crap that we don't know where to put, like this. This is like, the chiropractic neck aligner thing that I have that like doesn't really fit anywhere else. So I stash it in here and it fits perfectly inside like that. And it just kind of keeps all that random clutter at bay. And we have a few empty pieces, empty um, like cubbies in here that we can use for whatever when the time arises. This right here is my sad lamp. It is uh, for seasonal affective disorder because I live in the Pacific Northwest and I like to have a good amount of light. There we go. I like to have a good amount of light, especially when I'm sitting in an office getting work done. So I have that guy sitting in the corner there. And then the office closet. So half of the closet serves as additional storage space for office-y type of things, files, and overflow of supplies that I like to take on site. Um, it looks like we have some other types of gear in here in these totes that sit on top. And then we have this origami drawer system um, I actually picked this one up from HSN. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, you've seen this before. It lived in our other closet and it housed a bunch of our clothing in here. And now it kind of serves as backstock storage of other random miscellaneous things. We keep a lot of seasonal stuff in this now. So things like swimsuits and camping gear um, and, you know, extra layers for um, backpacking trips and things of that nature. So those all kind of live in here. And then on the other side, this isn't really office-y type of stuff, but it's just like extra clothing, um, suitcases in here. My husband's got a bunch of his memorabilia up there. And so we're just grateful to have that extra closet space to keep all of that stuff out of the way. All right, fam, that was a super quick tour because it's a really small space. So I hope you got some value out of it. I hope you got some good organizing ideas, some product suggestions. Remember, all of the products that I talked about today are gonna be linked down in the description of the video. If for some reason I have gotten to mention something, please comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like this video and tap that notification bell, become a subscriber. Don't forget to join my free Facebook group. It's an awesome place to be with other like-minded folks on organizing and decluttering journeys. And those of you who are looking to start and level up your pro organizing business. Check out that calendar link to book your one-on-one -on -one coaching call before all of my slots are gone for next month. It's crazy, I can't even believe I'm saying that right now, but it's what's happening. And you can also ask me about all of the other resources I have available for you when we talk on our coaching call. Don't forget to check out that donation link again. Even five bucks would make such a big difference so that I can pay my editor well to edit these videos and keep cranking them out for you every single week. And beyond that, 
I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.